A country estate is a great place for creation or permanent residence, where everything should be in harmony with nature, complementing it. Everyone is able to create a small oasis, hiding from the hustle and bustle of the city. The main thing is to develop landscape design correctly. This is difficult, but extremely interesting and fascinating task. It is important to pay attention not only on the landscaping of the site, but also to the choice of the style of the estate. How to do it right? Find out about it with us. Landscape design of the estate is a, a science where there are rules, norms and laws, compliance with which is mandatory. Only after studying all the fundamental points can you create an ideal plot that can become a luxurious addition to a country house or cottage. It is necessary not only to be able to take care of plants, but also to have good taste in order to harmoniously combine all the elements with each other, maintaining a single style. Before you engage in the improvement of the site, it is important to understand one simple truth. The creation of a beautiful estate is a continuous process, which is forbidden to stop. Flower beds, shrubs and trees are living plants that need constant care. Lawn and bushes need to be trimmed, flowers and trees watered. If you correct the approach to the organization of these processes, then the estate will always be attractive and neat, luxurious and attractive. As with the design of the interior of residential building, the infill should be organized in a single style in compliance with the color scheme. Monochrome is the simplest version of the design of a household plot, where different shades of the same scale are used. Two-tone. In this situation, choose one color that best harmonizes with green, for example purple, white or brown. After choosing the right color, it is important that all additional elements of the site, benches and sculptures, have this color. It cannot be used as an additional color, blue or red. Multicolor. This solution is the most popular because many consider it simple. In fact, it is very easy to make a number of mistakes here. Because you need to restrain the edge of brightness and variegation, otherwise the estate will be a colored kaleidoscope, a frightening multicolored spot. You can avoid this by using no more than five different colors. The fundamental moment determining the future appearance of the estate is the choice of style. The only limitation when choosing a stylistic solution is the taste of the homeowner and his financial capabilities. Having chosen a certain style, it is important that all elements of landscape design are part of it. At the moment, designers recommend decorating the estate in the following styles. Classic is a universal option used for plots of all shapes and sizes. It is important that all green spaces have the correct geometric shape. This direction is based on maintaining symmetry, while the classic element is a perfectly trimmed lawn. Green spaces, jasmine and lilac, roses and plush, honeysuckle and spruce as well as front fountains and ponds, arcs and flower pots, benches and gazebos are used as additional elements. Rustic A style that serves as the complete opposite of the classics. Here, the location of objects and the choice of plants is chaotic. There are no geometric shapes. Flowers can be planted in any place. Nasturium, sunflower and mallow are used as plantings. Natural materials, sand, wood and stone are used to create garden paths and flower beds. English style, restrain and preservation of nature in a well-groomed form. You can supplement the plot with arcs and hedges with waving plants. Ponds and paths may have an irregular shape. And near the entrance to the house, bright blooming flower beds will complement the picture. Provence is a light and elegant style that takes us to romantic France. There are no clear lines here, and the estate is decorated with delicate and bright flowers, 
combined with the lawn in the form of a grass with dwarf flowers. To create the Provence style manor, it is important that all buildings, including a private house, have a light color scheme of decoration. The gazebo can be hidden behind climbing grapes or ivy. Japanese style is a direction, the obligatory attribute of which is a garden of stones and an artificial pond with a bridge. Modern. Unusual shapes and sculptures, bright flowers and benches among trees and the main features of this stylistic trend. The layout of the estate begins with a basic idea, subsequently overgrown with additional elements and details. It is worth noting that excessive cluttering of the site with flowers, sculptures and other elements is outdated. Now it is important to create bright and catchy details, leaving maximum free space. When developing a plan, it is necessary to take into account the natural relief, the shape and size of the plot, the location of a private house and other structures, the type and condition of the soil, the ground water level, location of the plot relative to the cardinal directions, plans that are already available on the site. Stages of project design Creating a sketch on a piece of paper in which you need to mark existing buildings. Definition of functional zones and the location of garden paths. Development of an electrics plan. The choice of style. Selection of plants, flowers, trees and shrubs. Fencing is a mandatory attribute of the site. The presence of artificial reservoirs. As for the zoning of the space, it is important to divide the estate into the following zones. Garden and vegetable garden, recreation area and living space. You can also add additional buildings here, sauna, garage or terrace. It is better to place a gazebo, swing and benches in the recreation area. A children's playground should be arranged nearby so that children are always in full view of adults. Cousin paths, hedges and trees are used as elements dividing the estate into functional zones. A private house is not just a residential building, but also a dream for most people. Unfortunately, many pay attention only to the main building, forgetting about the territory around it. In fact, creating a harmonious image of the courtyard located around the house is not just an attempt to refine the landscape, but also an opportunity to create a unique site that attracts and pleases both guests and household members. It does not matter whether the landlord decided to ennoble the site to professional designers or do it with his own hands. You need to know the subtleties of your design. As mentioned earlier, the external entourage of the courtyard plays a significant role, as it is seen not only by the household, but also by their guests. In this regard, it is important that the atmosphere of the backyard contributes to rest and pleasant pastime, creates a sense of coziness and comfort. When planning a plot, it is important to consider the location of flower beds, building and decorative elements. It is important that the yard is attractive not only in summer, but also looked harmoniously at any time of the year. As practice shows, not all homeowners have the financial opportunity to order a landscape design project of a private plot from professional designers and architects, as it is not cheap. At the same time, the homeowner himself can create an attractive yard by turning on his creative imagination and devoting enough time and effort to the yard. The key point in all this is the definition of a private house as the central point of the surrounding landscape. The exterior of the building affects not only the style of neighboring structures, but also affects the choice of plants, the location of the recreation area. Before you design a yard, you need to carefully study the site, which will allow you to take into account its features. If there are elevation differences on the site, then it is appropriate to place a detached terrace or gazebo, rock garden, vertical landscaping, 
decorative pond or a large flower bed. Also, before starting the design of the yard, you need to determine which buildings are needed on the site, find the optimal location of the premises and determine their appearance. The number of priority zones, recreation area, kitchen corner, playground or sports ground, etc. is affected not only by the number of buildings but also by the size of the plot and its shape. As mentioned earlier, it is important to take into account the area of the land plot to determine the zones. If the yard is not too large, then you can combine functional elements, for example combining a terrace and a gazebo to create a recreation area with a barbecue. You can also combine a gazebo and a sauna, which will allow you to enjoy your vacation to the fullest. The recreation area can also be mobile. It is enough to find a free area where, if necessary, you can install a barbecue, arrange folding cotton furniture and hanging umbrellas that hide from the scorching sun. Having identified the key elements of the yard, you need to create a scheme specifying its scale. On the plot plan, the location and direction of the garden paths connecting the functional zones are determined among which a playground located in an open and well-viewed area, parking for cars, recreation area, vegetable garden, greenhouse, flower beds and reservoirs and other elements. Only after drawing up a plan can you proceed to its implementation. At the same time, the homeowner may face the problem of delineating functional zones. To divide the space into harmonious combination you can use arcs with climbing plants, small shrubs that create green fences, a low fence, wooden plastic or wicker, stationary or portable screens made of vine, bamboo or rattan. No yard of a private house can be imagined without paths, because they not only unite functional areas, but also contribute to comfortable movement between them. You can arrange garden paths using various materials, most often using pebbles and gravel. A more reliable solution is the use of concrete or paving slabs. You can also create garden paths from wood, but it needs to be pre-processed. At the moment, no modern site can be imagined without elements that create a beautiful landscape design. These include artificial reservoirs, recreation areas around an open fire, equipped barbecue areas, playgrounds. As an artificial reservoir, you can use a pool or a fountain, a small stream or pond, depending on the size of the plot. If a swimming pool is planned, it is better to give preference to a stationary structure, choosing reliable materials for its construction. You can create a small pond by digging a hole of any shape and depth, laying a double layer of film on its bottom, which will provide good waterproofing. It is better to strengthen the shores of the pond with stones, bricks or pebbles. A recreation area with a hearth where a stove, barbecue or fireplace is used, is a place for the whole family to relax. Here you can relax in the home circle or sit with friends, cook barbecue and other food on an open fire. It is important that near the fire source there is a table and a comfortable chairs or benches, deck chairs and hammocks, hidden under a canopy that protects from the sun and rain. Recently the outdoor dining room has become more and more popular because it's always nice to have lunch outdoors. Carefully thought out lightning of the site will not only protect night movement in the yard but also provide the space with additional charm in the dark. When creating sites of various zones, it is possible to mount outdoor LED lamps. To illuminate the paths, it is better to use lamps on small poles located along the garden path. Lightning can also be used to illuminate artificial reservoirs, recreation areas and the entrance door. In order for the courtyard of a private house to be as attractive as possible when developing a design, it is important to think through every detail. One of them is the decor. At the moment, as decorative elements are used, 
sculptural images of animals and fairy tale characters, figurines cast from plaster and concrete, arcs, bird houses, antique sculptures, pots on a wicker fence, sindural fountains. In practice, an artificial hill in suburban areas is usually built more for aesthetic reasons, guided primarily by the desire to give a more beautiful look to your site, to bring fresh ideas to its landscape design. Of course, there are also very good reasons for the construction of the hill for practical reasons. The hill can be used as an effective means of hiding all the objects on the site, the appearance of which may well leave much to be desired. The size of the hill and the plot. These two values are somewhat dependent. The larger the size of the plot, the higher, all other things being equal, the hill can be. In practice, the maximum height of the hill is usually limited to one and a half meters. The height of the most common hills does not usually exceed one meter. It should be noted that the hill will look good only on plots with an area of 1000 square meters. In areas with a small area, the hill looks, as a rule, clumsy due to its strong isolation against the background of the entire such area. The shape and the volume of the hill A simple hill is made in such a way that it slopes from an angle relative to the ground base that does not exceed 45 degrees, because otherwise, due to the action of gravitational forces, it is quite possible that its excessively steep slopes collapse. More complex forms of hills are performed using terracing, the description of which goes beyond the limits of this video. When designing a hill, an approximate calculation of its volume is important. It should be known that for any size of the hill, additional building material will be required to fill its volume. Moreover, the larger the size of the hill and the higher it is, the more additional building materials will obviously be required. The order of work includes the following main stages. Cleaning of soft soil and the device of the base for the future hill. Construction of the hill frame and lying of fertile soil on its slopes. Planting plants. How to properly prepare place for a future hill. First of all, it is necessary to remove the uppermost fertile layer of soil from the place designated at the base of the future hill and postpone it until the final stage. Also, you should take care of the soil for the frame of the hill in advance. Instead of soil, concrete reinforced concrete and metal structures that have already served their time can be effectively used. It is not worth filling the body of the hill with garbage because of its rapid decomposition and, as a result, the subsequent strong shrinkage of the entire hill. From natural materials, stones, crushed stone, sand are well suited for these purposes. It is not recommended to use clay because of its pronounced hearing properties. The device of the hill frame. The very principle of the work is as follows. First, prepare the base and the underlying part of the hill. To do this, non-granular or low-granular soil is used, for example, coarse or medium grain sand which, having previously been moistened to increase its bulk density, is poured in layers into the location of the base of the hill and ramped manually or by means of a ramming machine. After the foundation for the hill is prepared, begin to form its main part. For this, you can use either ready-made structures, which we mentioned above, or pre-prepared soil. At the finished stage, the top and slopes of the hill are formed. To do this, previously deposit fertile soil is poured into the place of the purposed future top of the hill. The soil slides down under the influence of gravity, naturally forming the top and slopes of the hill. Planting plants Due to natural shrinkage, the constructed hill will need at least six months for its natural shrinkage. 
if there is no strong desire to wait. Then you can reduce the shrinkage effect by planting a number of unpretentious, fast-growing, beautiful plants on the top and slopes of the hill. At the same time, it should be remembered that light-loving plants should be planted on the top of the hill and the southern slope, while shade-tolerant plants should be placed on the northern slope. Thanks to the plants, the hill not only acquires an elegant appearance, but at the same time becomes stronger, more durable, able to effectively resist the processes of weathering. In the future, you can supplement the plants on the hill with other elements of landscape design, for example, beautiful boulders, depending on your preferences. From the above, it can be seen that the construction of an artificial hill on a country plot with their own hands is not a big problem for some residents. True connoisseurs of nature and landscape design. You just need to show a minimum of inquinity and spend a little of your own time and effort. The reward in the form of a built and spectacular looking hill will delight you and your family members for many years to come. When buying a country house, not everyone can afford a luxury mansion with an unlimited territory. Often the suburban area has a small size, where in addition to the house, there is a small infield. However, the designers are sure that with the right approach and design of the plot, even from a small area, you can create a unique landscape design that captivates guests and relatives. Having completely transformed the site, you can not only make it beautiful, but also visually increase the boundaries and expand the space. How to do it? Let's find out together. Basic rules of registration When creating and decorating the landscape design of a small suburban area, you need to adhere to three rules with which you can avoid the classic mistakes of inexperienced gardeners. To create a cozy corner on a small plot, you need Abandon the construction of large and massive buildings. All structures erected on the site should seem light and airy. If this is not possible, then hedges, shrubs and climbing plants that can eat the wall of the building will help to make the building less massive. It is impossible to produce mass construction. Structures should be evenly disturbed throughout the territory. Alternating with recreation areas gazebo, barbecue area and playground, and decorative elements, hedge, rockery, artificial pond, alpine slide, etc. Abandon high blind fences, as in a small area it will feel as if the household is in a cage. A blind fence destroys all attempts to visually enlarge the site. In addition, such a fence changes the microclimate of the site, disrupting the natural air circulation, as a result of which the site and the plants growing on it will suffer. Alternative solution is a chain-link fence combined with climbing plants and a low wooden picket fence can also be used as a fence. Abandon the planting of tall trees and the placement of large objects on the side. Large and massive trees will create shade, reducing free space to a minimum. It is better to give preference to low-growing prolific trees planted in a compact group. Choosing a style for the design of a small suburban area Before you start landscaping a small plot of land, you need to carefully develop a plan for its creation. If there are no special skills to work with design computer programs designed to create a landscape, then you can use the old method by picking up a piece of paper and a pencil. On the plan, you need to specify the size of the plot and existing buildings, designate recreation areas, a place for planting flowers, shrubs and trees, as well as a plot for beds. The next step is to choose a style for the design of a small plot. The regular style is a symmetrical planting of plants relative to the main axis of the composition with straight paths and strict geometric shapes. For small areas, such manoeuvres are undesirable, since straight lines will not help to visually enlarge the territory, but vice versa. The design of the plot and landscape style provides freedom for the placement of decorative elements and plants, 
The paths here are small and winding. The terrain irregularities are used to create transitions between zones. The construction of an artificial reservoir with a bridge or an alpine slide, a slimper option is to make a flower garden with plants of different shapes, heights and colors. Ways to visually expand the space A small suburban plot is not a vertex, because with the right approach to the arrangement of the territory, you can expand the boundaries by making an attractive and relatively spacious plot. To implement the idea, various design techniques are used, among which is the creation of an emphasis on smooth shapes and lines. Garden paths and paths should bend along the side, winding between flower beds and decorative elements, which will expand the boundaries of the site. We can complement the paths with floral arrangements, multi-level planting of dwarf trees, shrubs and flowers. You can create a composition yourself or choose one of the trendy made options as a basis. It is important not to chase the number of shrubs and flower beds as it's impossible to overstate the space in a small plot. It is important to choose beautiful compositions that delight with their appearance and bright colors from early spring to the end of autumn. As a decoration you can use a fountain, a decorative well, a small artificial pond or a dry steam. Also, properly selected lightning will help to visually increase the space. Landscaping of a small suburban area Rules to follow When choosing plants, it is important to take into account the requirements for illumination. The height of plants planted in a row should increase from south to north. If the soil on the side is poor, then manure and compost will not be able to instantly save the situation. You can solve the problem by buying fertile land of a suburban area. It is important to choose the right color scheme, expanding the boundaries of the site with its health. It is better to give preference to light and pastel tones. There is no need to use a wide variety of colors. It is enough to choose a certain color theme, adhering to it throughout the site. First of all, you can do flower beds, breaking flower beds on the sides of the entrance to the site and near the porch of the cottage. At the same time, flower beds should not be symmetrical and for their design you can use any improvised means – containers, barrels, old tires, etc. You can also create a stream with flowers, which will be located along a small artificial reservoir. An equally important element of a suburban area is a recreation area, for the organization of which 5-6 square meters will be enough. To do this, you can make a wooden pergola by putting a bench there. You can hide the recreation area from prying eyes with the help of climbing plants, grapes, roses, etc. or hedges. Live Gazebo 
a stylish and original solution that allows you to create a beautiful open type building, the construction of a living gazebo. Thanks to this, the gazebo can not only be surrounded by a garden, but also made part of it. It is difficult to make a living structure partially or completely made of plants because it takes a lot of time and effort because the end result fully justifies itself. To create a full-fledged gazebo, it is better to choose trees and shrubs that do not rise much in height. At the first stage, the use of a metal frame will be required, but it can also be left on a permanent basis, braiding the frame with roses and maiden grapes. It is worth noting that you can decorate with climbing plants not only a living gazebo, but also wooden or metal structures. Romantic Gazebo If you think about it, then a garden gazebo is a romantic corner where, in a peaceful state, you can forget about the hustle and bustle and everyday affairs, enjoying nature with your soulmate. Modern architects and designers offer bold solutions designed exclusively to create a romantic atmosphere. Of course, forged models look best, but to create an atmosphere, decor is needed the role of which will be performed by roses and hanging chrysanthemums in baskets, curtains and original artificial lightning. Original solutions It may seem to many that the above gazebos are already quite unusual, but in fact, they are a popular solution that can be found in all corners of our country. However, imagination allows you to create buildings of amazing shapes, for example, gazebos in the form of carriage are popular, as well as structures similar to houses for dwarfs.